Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Birdhouse Alt from Scratch. Now, before we get into this today, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, then please check them out. I'll have it linked below in the playlist, so that way you'll get all the background info for the series and know exactly what's going on. And in the last episode, we unlocked Fossil Island, and today we're going to start doing our first birdhouse runs. Now, before we get into it, I have to show you how to unlock the teleports on Fossil Island. So first thing we're going to do, let's go to Fossil Island right now. Well, we can't go to Fossil Island. We have to teleport to the dig site with the pendant. Uh, if you see the second option right here, Fossil Island, that's what we're going to be unlocking right now. If you try to do it, it tells you uh, you can't do it, you haven't unlocked it yet. So let's go over here, we'll uh, quick travel with the barge guard, and he'll take us over here to Fossil Island, and just follow the route I'm taking. I'll probably just put some music over this or something for you to listen to, but uh, enjoy. Alright, once you cross this bridge over here, you're going to find this really weird house. I think it's called House on the Hill. But, um, if you go up here, take off your dig site pendant. And with the dig site pendant, there's going to be a strange machine right here. So use your pendant on the machine. And now you have the teleport unlocked forever. So if we were the pendant and use the teleport, I don't want to waste charges, but if you use the Fossil Island teleport, it's going to teleport you right here. The next thing you want to do is run right up here and there's a mushroom. So there's four of these mushrooms around the island, and in order to unlock them, you have to use them at least once. So just like pretty much touch the tree and get onto this uh, little menu screen here, and then it's unlocked forever. So there's two more of them that we have to unlock, and I'll show you how to get there right now. Again, just follow the route I'm taking, and uh, I'll play some nice music for you to listen to. Alright, so the next mushroom tree is right over here, uh, again, just click on it, and now you have it unlocked forever. So now we can transport between these two if you go to House on the Hill, it's going to teleport us right there. And again, once you get here, you can click on it, and you can teleport right back. And uh, now we are popped up here once again. So now we got one more to unlock. There's a, this third one you're not going to use for birdhouse runs, the only ones you're really going to use are option 2 and number 4. So let's unlock option 2 right now. This is also going to be a bit of a run or a bit of a walk and uh, I'll speed this up once again and put some nice music over it for ya. Okay, so we're coming up on the mushroom over here now, so let's just click on it once again, and we now have every teleport unlocked that we need for birdhouses. So, next thing we gotta do now is go and make the actual birdhouses themselves. So let's teleport to Vrak. Let's take our cash stack out of the bank, and the first thing we have to buy, and you only have to do this once, is buy four clockworks. So uh, I'm not sure how much it costs, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I guess they're like 1k each, so buy four of them. Again, you will never have to buy these ever again after this first time. Okay, so they ended up buying for, it looks like just over 1k each, I think it's like 1.2k each. Next things we need to buy, which again we only have to buy once and you only need one of each of these, is a hammer and a chisel. So these should buy uh, right away, just like that. There we go. And at the moment we only have the requirements to make the regular birdhouses, like the tier 1, which is level 5 craft and level 5 hunter. We're going to buy four regular logs. There's four birdhouses that you're going to be doing for every single run. So you have to bring four logs every single time, and uh, the four logs are just whatever tier logs that you're going to be using. So we're starting out with the regular ones. We'll buy four of those. We could chop them ourselves, but they're super cheap, so we'll just buy them. You could just buy the straight up birdhouse if you want to, and if you don't have the crafting level, but I think it'll be a more entertaining series if we actually work to get the crafting levels ourselves. I'm not even sure how many birdhouses are actually on the market if you're actually able to buy like these different types of birdhouses. I haven't checked how many are bought and sold per day, but uh, I'd rather not worry about it. We're just going to do it this way. We'll do some crafting training methods as well. It'd also be cool to get the crafting cape someday. That would help a lot for the birdhouse runs as well. So that's how we're going to be doing it on this account. You also need to have 40 hop seeds per run because each birdhouse takes 10 hop seeds unless you're using wild bloods. Wild bloods you only need 5 of for some reason. We're going to buy jute seeds. They seem to be the cheapest ones, so let's see if uh, they go through. It's really not a big deal though because they're all around like 20 to 30 GP each. So there we go, got 120 of those. that will have a set for 3 birdhouse runs. Since we're here, I'm buying a bit more supplies. Got some uh, dig site pendant stuff, got some more of rock teleports. So let's just use these enchant ruby things on the 
ruby necklaces, and got a couple more dig site pendants now. Normally, you wouldn't be doing this right now, you'd be doing it as you check your birdhouses, but if you just use the clockworks on the logs, you can choose to make the birdhouses, and I'll get a bit of crafting XP from doing that too. Uh, now we'll be all set to start our run, so once we finish making all these, let's use our dig site pendant to get there. Before we go, don't want to forget uh, Ring of Dueling, it'd be kind of annoying to teleport out of there, so there we go, we are set now. Let's teleport to Fossil Island. And we'll, uh, we'll appear in the house in the hill area that we uh, unlock the fossil island teleport at. Let's go to the tree over here. I'm going to press 2 on the keyboard for option number 2. And it's going to take us to the first spot. So if we go to this spot right here, we'll use the birdhouse on the spot. And then use the seeds on the birdhouse. That's all you got to do. Make sure you use the seeds on there because it's really annoying when you forget to use the seeds. And you'll come back after like an hour to check your birdhouses and I'll just say it's empty. Like if I use this on here... And if I don't put the seeds in there, if you right click it, it'll say empty. So make sure you just use the seeds on there. Um, if you do forget to use the seeds a lot, you could bring 40 seeds with you every single run, like exactly 40 seeds. So that way by the time you finish your run, you'll see that you have zero seeds left every single time. But now let's go to option number four, Mushroom Meadow. And the, uh, the third birdhouse is going to be straight north up here. Again, use the birdhouse on the little space over here. And don't forget to put the seeds in there as well. And now we're going to run south. And the fourth spot is right up over here, so we'll take the birdhouse once again for this last one. Use it on there, use the jute seed on the birdhouse, and now we can teleport back. While we're waiting, I think I'm going to teleport to Varak and cut some more trees. We'll have some uh, regular logs and some oak log seeds for birdhouses in the future, so that's what I'll do right now. And uh, I'll see you guys back again once these birdhouses have caught the birds. It's 50 minutes, 5-0 minutes, not 15. 50 minutes for every birdhouse run. So um, if you set like a timer or if you just uh, do it at the same time every hour, you can keep track that way. I just realized this is actually really inefficient to be doing this because we could be using some other better money making method. And in this case, what I want to be doing to make money is crafting. Because like I said before, I do want to get crafting up and maybe eventually one day get the crafting cape. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I do want to get the crafting cape one day maybe, depending on how far the account goes. But um, in order to do crafting, the first thing I'd want to do is make gold bars into gold amulets. And to do that, there's a shortcut right up here that requires 21 agility. Uh, that shortcut right there. And there's the furnace right over there. So I think it'd be nice to be able to go back and forth between the GE and the furnace right here in Edgeville. Especially considering that we don't have that much money. So we'll have to do a lot of running back and forth between here. So I want to go and grind out 21 agility right now. Here we are now in Drainer Village at the very first rooftop course that you can do. And uh, we're just going to grind this out here from 10 to 21. We could switch over to Al Karid at 20, but I'm not really going to run all the way over to Al Karid just for one level, so we'll just stay here till 21. I hate this already. I was just thinking about this, and fuck. Um, so being a skiller, you can't do the Priest Imperial quest, so you can't access Canifus as a skiller. So we'll never be able to do the Canifus core. So if you ever do want to get Agility up, which you probably won't ever do it, we'll have to stick with the lower courses, like the Varak course and the Faldor course. Not even alking and imbuing and fleshing darts at the same time. What a scrub. Okay, once we go down here, it's going to be level 20 Agility finally. Uh, like I said before, we're going to do one more level here, just to get to 21. Not going to bother going to Alcrid. Um, the XP per hour I've been getting is 7.8k XP per hour. It took us 27 laps, about 25 minutes to get these levels. And we've gotten seven Marks of Grace so far. We could trade in the Marks of Grace for Amylase once we get a few more. And uh, I think Marks of Grace are worth about 10k each. But I'd rather get Graceful because we'll be making plenty of money from birdhouses. I don't think we'll really ever train Agility, but it's cool to have them just in case we ever actually train other skills on the side. But uh, one more level to go. This is beautiful to see all these Agility levels in the chat like that. 21 Agility coming in. Looks like it took us 31 laps to get to 21 from level 10. Now use the Grand Exchange Agility Shortcut. Let's finish up this lap and then we'll uh, get back at it. This is the whole cash stack right now. So we're going to buy an inventory of gold bars. And we got the amulet mold buying right up here. And uh, let's see if we can profit a bit from one inventory and how much uh, money we can make from it. And uh, start on some crafting training while we wait for the birdhouses to finish. Ah, uh, this is such a beautiful shortcut to have. I'm so glad that we got this done. You get 30 XP for each of these gold amulets that you make. So uh, if you do 27, that's 810 crafting XP per inventory, and here's level 20 crafting coming in. And uh, the next tier birdhouse for crafting is at level 25. So once we get to 25, we can craft willow birdhouses. It's also level 24 hunter for willow birdhouses as well. 
So Hunter is going to hold us back a bit. The goal is to see how much XP we can get from only doing birdhouses. Um, if we see like implings and stuff, we'll catch those. But I don't want to, at least for now, do other training methods. I just want to do it solely through birdhouses. I just sold the gold amulets for a bit of profit. Let's see exactly how much we made from selling those. Looks like we made about 1k from uh, making the gold amulets, so nothing special. But I think it's time to check the birdhouses now. So I'll show you how we do that. Once you're into the groove of doing things, you'll have your tab set up for your birdhouse run. So you just click, click. Grab all your seeds out, grab your four logs, and uh, grab your pendant if you don't have it out already, and uh, that's all we need. So let's go to Fossil Island right now, and hopefully they collected. I wasn't really keeping track of time, but I think it's been 50 minutes. So when you first come here, you right-click your birdhouse, click empty, and if it's done, we'll get the XP and we'll get all the loot from it. So let's find out if it's done. You can also check seeds if you want to, but if it's not done, it'll tell you it's not done when you try to empty it. All right, so it's not done yet. If you check the seeds, uh, 1 out of 10. So every tier, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, each one of those is 5 minutes. So there's less than 5 minutes left. So uh, I will be right back. So something that's kind of weird when you log in is that you have to wait 30 to 60 seconds before you can check the birdhouses. Even if it's done, which they are done now, it's been over 5 minutes. If you try to empty it, I'll tell you it's not ready yet for some reason. And it'll still say like a random number. I don't know like how it decides the number. Sometimes it'll say like 3 out of 10. I've seen like 9 out of 10. But it always has a random number there. And um... Yeah, we just gotta wait 30 seconds, and then you can check it. So now, we're gonna check the birdhouse. I'm gonna put this chart up on screen for you to look at, but pretty much every single birdhouse you check has 10 chances to get a bird's nest. And if you see on the right side there, it says chance of nest. That chance is for each of those 10 chances that you get. So odds are, I'm not good with statistics, but I think we can expect one nest per birdhouse on average over the long run. So let's check it now. And uh, oh, we got two nests, there we go. And there's level 10 hunter as well. So you also get feathers, and you get uh, 10 bird's meats as well, which uh, they drop to the ground now due to a recent quality of life update. Before, you have to drop them every single time and like drop them from your inventory after each birdhouse, but now it's a lot nicer. Um, here's what we're gonna do though. We use the uh, clockwork on the log, and it'll make the birdhouse, get the crafting XP, use that on space, use the seeds on the birdhouse, and rinse and repeat for all four of the birdhouses that I showed you earlier. So I'll see you back at the end of the run, and we'll see what we get from this. Actually, I lied, watch this, watch, 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 watch. Level 11 hunter right away, next birdhouse, dude. This level's so fast. And we're also close to the next hunter level as well. This is what I mean, dude. So the early hunter levels are so, so bad to do, but with birdhouses, this makes it like nothing. You can skip through the early level super fast. Um, again, if you do forget if you uh, put your seeds in, as you're running away, if you right click on it, you can see if it says empty or not next to it. But uh, let's go to this next birdhouse now. And 13 hunter, do we just skip two levels? Yo, I swear we were just at 11. We went from 11 to 13 hunter. Yo. So I guess you only have to do one bird run ever with the regular logs and you never have to do the regular bird houses ever again because there's 14 hunter. We can now do the oak bird houses. So there's a, uh, a nice little upgrade there for the next run. I guess I probably should have brought an oak log with me, but uh, I don't want to waste the teleports going back and forth. We'll just do this right now. And uh, let's see what seeds we get from these nests, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get lucky here. Uh, number one, number two. <laughs> Dude, a spirit seed, man. Okay. Ah. Uh, Alright, let's go to the G. Bro, let me look up the odds of getting a spirit seed from this. According to the RuneScape wiki, there's a 0.4% chance of getting a spirit seed from a bird's nest. So, RNG in all the wrong places, man. <laughs> so, you don't have to crush up the bird's nest, but we're going to crush one of them right now just to see the, uh, the differences between the prices. Let's go uh, try to sell these. They are 2.4k each, and the uh, non-crushed ones are... Uh, they're about the same. I don't think we'll even bother crushing them. I mean, I guess we could crush these. It might be a little bit more. It makes sense that the crushed ones are a bit more pricey, so we'll just do it for this, but I don't think I'll be crushing them in the future. I think I'll just be selling the birds as how they are. But if you go ahead and sell these, you should get a nice, decent, exactly 10k. So they sell for 2.5k each. And now that we got some more cash, let's buy some more gold bars and train some crafting up a bit. Sweet, here we go. 25 crafting coming in. We can now craft willow birdhouses. Now, like I said, we're still on oaks, but eventually once we get to that point, we'll be all set for crafting. Oh my gosh, I just found the most legendary name. I had to, I had to say nice name. That's an amazing name. Hey, check this out. 20k cash deck, and we made, uh, looks like, almost 6k profit from that. Big boy money coming in. Eventually, once we get farther down the line, we can support our crafting training through the birdhouses and use the money we make from birdhouses to do, like, molten glass or something like that. But for now, we're doing a bit of, uh, profitable methods. Anything here new at 30 crafting? 
Oh, it's also 200 total level, though. We are now up to a 30k cash stack. Here we go, 35 crafting coming in. That means we can now make willow birdhouses. So these levels are going by super fast. Oh, well, no, it's teak. Teak. Okay, yeah, teak. Last one was willow. We can make teak birdhouses now. Um, we'll just finish up the gold bars that we have uh, banked right now. I think we'll be done for crafting for today. Because uh, it's going to be some time before we get to teak. And then we'll go ahead and do our next birdhouse run. Back at the birdhouses, here is 15 hunter now. Nothing related to birdhouses new there, but we're now making the oak birdhouses, so that's a little step up. Next run we do it will be 2.5% more likely than we are now to get nests. And uh, one more thing about getting nests is that you only get up to one seed nest per run. So if you do get any amount of nests, there will always be one seed nest in there. Um, if, obviously if you don't get any nests, then you just don't get any seed nests at all, but you are guaranteed one seed nest if you get nests. 16 hunter coming in right away. Here's the last birdhouse we're going to be checking. Hopefully we get at least one more nest from it. And uh, it's also going to be level 17 hunter once we check it as well. Nothing new yet here, but we did end up getting a nest from that one. So let's place this birdhouse, put the seeds in, and let's see what seeds we got from this. So let's just uh, open them all at once. No, uh, uh, nothing. But uh, there's the profit from this bird run. This will be the last bird run for today because we are going to be wrapping up right here. But throughout this week, or at least the next few days, I'll be doing all the birdhouse runs as many as I can. We'll be getting the crafting levels up, getting the hunter levels up, and uh, hopefully we'll make some decent money even at these lower levels. It's so nice having these hunter levels go up super fast. Um, otherwise, that is going to be all for today. I do hope the video helped you out, and I hope you're enjoying the series so far because I'm having a lot of fun making it. But with that being said, though, I just want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.